Hello all, welcome to Microprobe Engineering Solutions. As everyone aware of, uh, Telangana State Government has been announced few job notifications. In this particularly for mechanical engineering and diploma in mechanical engineering as well as automobile engineering students, this particular job, assistant motor vehicle inspector, post has been given in that notification. So in coming days shortly, we will see the upcoming notification on a student motor vehicle inspector in this regard we have started purely on technical paper 2 we have started the online coaching if you see here in this coaching and technical paper 2 the entire syllabus which I have taken from the Telangana government website it's a last year notification here you can observe the first part entirely on the thermal engineering and automobile power plants and the second part will be coming under automobile engineering and industrial management and uh, the small topics which will be added up on the fluid mechanics that is uh, fluid properties and flow of fluids oil power hydraulics and pneumatics and hydraulic machinery it will be coming under a uh, fifth topic it's a small topic which is uh, they are giving some of objective questions from the fluid mechanics and the third part will be design and manufacturing entirely uh, this will be dealing on the engineering mechanics as well as strength of materials and machine design as well as materials engineering materials and uh, production technology or manufacturing technology and the total paper you know that 150 marks and uh, time limited is 150 minutes as you are all aware of the syllabus and uh, in particularly coming to our microprobe engineering solutions we are offering particularly on the automobile topics why because lot of students has been called and uh, given some feedback or suggestions whatever you take they have asked for they have already some few people have been taken coaching on a W -E, assistant executive engineers or assistant engineers or else some gate coaching centers they have already taken some coaching on the mechanical perspective so they have enough enough knowledge on the mechanical subjects so they are particularly asking on automobile topics because they are not that much be learned on the diploma level or btec level so they have been continuously asking on to provide especially on automobile topics so we are not dealing on that uh, thermal engineering or design and manufacturing topics we are particularly concentrating on automobile engineering industrial management as well as fluid mechanics topics so our online coaching the delivery of topics will be based on these two three four five topics and coming to our online coaching strategy a daily four hours of class will be assigned in that morning 6 to 8 2 hours and evening 6 to 8 pm or some people has been requested to change the timings depending upon the students request we are able to change the timings but the presently running batch one has been only on the evening 8 pm to 10 pm it has been assigned because of some people who are working they are not able to join at 6 pm so they have based on the students request we have changed the timings so these are just uh, we have kept uh, according to our flexibility but uh, later on we can change the timings also based on student feedback or suggestions and uh, some holidays which are coming on saturday sundays or public holidays the extra timings will be compensated for that to complete the syllabus and batch 2 which we are starting it's completely fast track coaching that means we are trying to complete in 20 to 25 days or below 20 to 25 days complete syllabus will be covered and uh, our way of uh, teaching or our way of delivering the lectures we will assume that student having a zero knowledge in that subject we will assume that he is having a zero knowledge in the technical subjects which are automobile engineering from the base depth we are going to cover each and every topic in deep and uh, we are conducting some grand tests and uh, each topic after the completion of like two three days some topics after completion of the topics we will be providing some tests because practice is very important even though you're listening the class you're preparing you have to give a test so that it will improve your 
capacity or you improve your knowledge and uh, how can you tackle that particular objective questions so we are definitely providing this grant test and a mock test and finally final test will be conducted particularly on the uh, two three four five topics and based on the previous papers we have developed the question papers and uh, another advantage here the personal interaction with the faculty via phone or whatsapp you can do or else after completion of each class there will be a question and answer sections you can ask uh, live with the faculty who are dealing the topics you can ask uh, question and answers there you have any doubts on the particular topic they will resolve the topic there itself and uh, presently we are using ms teams platform to deliver the, all the lectures and uh, one good thing here with the ms teams some people students on first batch we have observed some people are like uh, they are not able to join the live sections because of some problems genuine reasons like something power cut or something data problem internet and as well as some people are uh, cannot uh, attend because of their job and uh, because of that here one good advantage in ms teams after every lecture it will be automatically recorded and uh, later on the student can able to watch that video so that he can he did not feel like uh, missing the class so that uh, one of the like advantage added advantage in our online coaching he can watch any time and uh, student can access that to watch the videos later this is our online coaching strategy and coming to the uh, question structure from the previous 2015 paper we have seen like thermal engineering automobile engineering industrial management and design as well as manufacturing so from these all topics they have given from thermal engineering 24 objective questions and automobile engineering 62 and 18 and coming all these things so in particularly if you observe we are uh, talking about uh, automobile engineering in automobile engineering the all the topics they are giving 62 questions and coming to industrial management 18 questions are coming and fluid mechanics 5 or 4 5 plus or minus 1 or 2 questions so combining all summation 85 marks will be covered from which we are dealing these topics so almost like half more than half of the course has been taught in our online coaching strategy and 85 marks will be given from particularly automobile engineering industrial management and fluid mechanics a totally 150 marks and uh, with this i will conclude this uh, the structure of the how we deal the coaching online as well as now we'll discuss a small demo on the automobile engineering coming to here first of all we discuss the anatomy of human body i know you people will be surprised actually this is automobile engineering topic what is the necessity of talking about human body and anatomy now it's completely not at all related to the automobile or any mechanical concepts but it's completely on the biological or biomedical engineering students has to know this but for clear understanding i want to discuss about little bit about anatomy of human body the left side figure if you see that is a skeleton we'll call you know in a social in a science we have studied in school days and the skeleton consists of uh, entirely you can see the structure of the skeleton it is not having any like body parts only structure is z here but coming to right side image you can see entirely it will be covered with the skin and flesh as well as internal organs like uh, liver or this you can see heart and eyes and brain entirely you can see all the organs so here in anatomy of body each uh, organ or each part having their own functions for suppose i am talking about the heart heart having that function heart can easily pump the blood entire the body so the heart is very important for the human body because anything damage occurs anything is related to heart the people may die you can see the heart attack they will call so any clotting of blood or the circulation of the blood is not properly gone through the heart definitely the people may die so it is a very important part in the human body so you have to take care of the heart so nowadays a lot of people are doing so many things uh, they are regulating the food habits and some exercises they are doing according to the doctor prescription or doctor so here to maintain the entire body or human body we have a lot of things we have to do to functioning of entire the all the parts then only we can our health will be very properly maintained and uh, we can be worked very well very peacefully and uh, this mind as a brain 
it's a very important uh, another you know, functional another object or another part in the human body which will controls entire our motions so similarly now we will discuss about the automobile engineering anatomy of automobile here before we have discussed about anatomy of human body similarly for an automobile an anatomy will be consist so in anatomy of an automobile as we discussed there are skeleton here coming to an automobile the skeleton is a chassis the body frame body frame or the body structure a chassis it is called as a uh, skeleton on that chassis then the body entirely covered and if you observe here in images on the chassis the wheel suspension systems and entirely brakes it's having the four wheels any automobile if you see vehicle it is having a four wheels basic i'm talking about basic similarly how we have like a two legs and two hands here we have the four tires which will coming into the motion and the vehicle will go move forward by using of these tires or wheels and uh, as i am talking about here all the parts in human body we have different parts similarly here also different parts are consisting in anatomy of automobile and particularly the engine engine is very very important in the automobile it's a heart of the automobile engine is the heart of the automobile why i am talking it is a heart of automobile because engine is not functioning well anything damage occurs in the engine entirely completely the vehicle will be stopped or vehicle will be not running condition so it is a heart of the vehicle it's a heart of the automobile so engine is a very important thing and coming to here uh, here the power transmission system we can see engine from the engine power will be connected the power will be transferred to the clutch and from the clutch it will goes to the gearbox and from the gearbox it is connected to the propeller shaft and the yellow color if you see it is a universal joint actually it has to be near to little bit near to differential it's a small uh, mistake in the diagram an universal joint and it is connected to the differential from the differential the power will be goes to the two wheels or the two tires this is the entire anatomy and uh, i have kept here e c g particularly highlighted here with the yellow marker e z e c g why because i have talked about engine engine is a heart of the automobile similarly our body and for suppose they will give the objective questions they have given lot of times in the previous question paper the clutch is located between a engine b engine and gearbox and b engine and propeller shaft and c gearbox and propeller shaft and d none of the above so in particularly too easy to remind to easy to remember for the students i have highlighted here ecg you can easily remember ecg you know any thing damage or anything is occurs to the heart if you go to some hospital particularly to the cardiology department the doctor will tell to take the ecg and in the ecg you can see the how the functioning of the heart so here you can easily remember ecg after engine definitely the clutch will be coming up and after the clutch gearbox and gearbox is connected to the propeller shaft and then tell the power it transmitted to the differential so this entire thing is called as a power transmission system power transmission system consists of engine clutch gearbox and propeller shaft and coming to four wheels and four tires and on the wheel rim the tires will be attached here and uh, these are called brakes the brakes are different kinds of brakes we can observe in our syllabus uh, uh, brakes is one of the topic we'll discuss in later Uh, what are the types of brakes what are the requirement of the brakes and uh, suspension system it is uh, another important topic uh, it will comfort the for the riding the vehicle it will feel more comfort by using of the suspension systems and here we will call as a steering is connected to the steering wheel so this is another very very important topic steering inside the steering what are the steering mechanism what are the gears which will be used in steering and uh, how it is connected to the front axle how it is moving the tires or it has to movement like left direction or right direction entirely depending upon the steering mechanisms are uh, present 
there are different kinds of two types of steering mechanisms are consisting so we will discuss very briefly about each and every topic in coming classes and coming to here the distance between the front wheel tires and the rear wheel rear means back wheel call rear and this is the front wheel and the rear wheel so i have given here symbols red color symbols that is the power which is coming from the engine and converting the power will be goes through the propeller shaft and coming to differential then the vehicle will be moving to the forward direction then the both wheels the rear wheels will be pushing pushing the vehicle and the front wheels will be driven so here if you observe this distance between the two rear tires or two rear wheels is called it is a wheel track we'll call it as a wheel track how much track it is obtained this is the wheel track the difference or the distance between the rear wheels or the front wheels is called as a wheel track how much it is occupied that is called a track and here the distance between the front wheel uh, tires or the back wheel or rear wheel tires it is called wheel base we'll call it as a wheel base and these are the suspension system these are individual suspension systems individual means single for each tire or each wheel they have separate suspension systems one two three four but if you observe in suspension system there are not independent also some are not independent they will call it as a leaf springs will call in that uh, leaf springs will uh, usually see on the heavy vehicles like lorries and buses and uh, another uh, propeller shaft here and gearbox you know what is the function of the gearbox and the clutch and engine each and every part the functions and characteristics what are the types uh, consisting in the gearbox we have the constant mesh gearbox synchronized mesh, synchronized mesh gearbox and sliding mesh gearbox and how they works and which kind of gearboxes will be uh, used in the present vehicles this kind of uh, we will study in deep and this type of drive it is called rear wheel drive particularly it is called rear wheel drive because the power is entirely shifting on coming to the rear tires or rear wheels rear wheels it is going to the rear wheel so it is called rear wheel drive or two wheel drive connecting to the here two wheel drive it is not connected to the front wheels only it is connected to the two wheels it is called two wheel drive and coming to front wheel drive you will see the front wheel drive here in uh, front wheel drive if you observe here there is no any propeller shaft is connected to the rear wheel and uh, here another uh, one uh, another component or the another here place that is called transaxle instead of differential transaxle is present here and similarly engine clutch transaxle instead of that uh, ecg gearbox here one transaxle is uh, present here and uh, drive shafts they are completely connected to the front wheels front wheels so it is called front wheel drive it is called front wheel drive and coming to four wheel drive four wheel drive in four wheel drive in two wheel drive we have seen the power only connecting to the rear wheels and coming to four wheel drive one two three four the power here coming from the gearbox again it is connected for the another some component and here one propeller shaft another propeller shaft and here one differential as well as here one differential so it is going the power whichever coming from the engine it is transmitting to the rear wheels as well as the front wheels so it is called as four wheel drive four wheel drive it is called as four wheel drive here i shown in red color symbols in the four wheels the drive is coming it can be easily and the power transmitted will be more here and in which kind of cars or in which kind of vehicles the four wheel drives are be used in which kind of vehicles two wheel drives are used these kind of questions they may ask that topics we will discuss in deep in our classes and coming to based on this kind of vehicle driving systems according to the number of wheels fitted in the vehicles and the number of driving wheels they have categorized into four categories they have categorized into four categories the first one is the first column if you see the first column is it is called as wheels only wheel the first column is you blindly like note it down the first column is wheels four wheels four wheels six wheels six wheels the second column will talk about driven means drive 
what type of drive that is what type of drive two wheel drive four wheel drive two wheel drive four wheel drive four into two means the vehicle having four wheels with two drive that means rear wheel drive two drive vehicle and the vehicle consists of four wheels and the drive is four drive that means it is having four wheel drive on the front two tires as well as back two wheels or front two wheels and coming to here six tires sometimes in some vehicles we will see six wheels consisting and the drive is two wheel drive and similarly six wheels and four wheel drive this is very important they have categorized into four different kind of uh, drive chassis vehicles four into two four into four six into two six into four this kind of question they have asked in last 2015 question paper we will uh, see that uh, we'll discuss about the topics also and uh, coming to i have told you in the syllabus they have given like very simply they have mentioned here in syllabus as we will uh, see here uh, chassis frame steering brake suspension system one two three four five six and something like some eight or nine topics are consisting the only in first topic automobile chassis body and transmission system by seeing it we looks like it's very small topics so we can easily complete or we can easily study will that kind of mindset will be there for students just to remind that we have collected like see here steering means only one word they have given steering inside the steering the requirements of vehicle steering gear layout types of steering gear as i have discussed uh, told you before that different kinds of gear and steering linkages power steering and these are all things we have to discuss and caster comber kingpin inclination it is very important kingpin inclination toe in toe out wheel wobble and shimmy definitely like almost five to six questions are arising from this steering topic alone and coming to brakes functions of brakes requirements of automobile brakes different kinds of brakes brake bleeding and list of brakes used in various vehicles and hydraulic brakes and layout and suspension system different kinds of suspension systems as i discussed independent suspension system types of suspension system it will come under conventional and independent suspension system in independent system it will come and conventional means like leaf springs conventional system and uh, if we talk about automobile pollution and control how it is affecting and we have to talk about that controlling how they can control which which mechanism or which devices are used in the automobile and recently what kind of uh, devices are using to control the pollution it's a very very important topic and they are asking in this from this topic a lot of questions and front axle and rear axle just i have shown you just one two three four topics and fifth topic is front axle and rear axle you can assume like entire syllabus each and every if they are given one line or one topic means in deep so our strategy of coaching is we will go to in deep up to the last in that heading the steering means we will complete entirely all this whatever the listed here we will not at all leave any one small topic because they may chances of giving any one of this from these topics and another thing you have to clearly remember this time maybe with the merit base they have take no interview means you should be very working hard on objective questions so in this way entirely the topics will be discussed and uh, we will see the small objective questions as i mentioned you a vehicle chassis is designated as 6 into 4 this indicates that this is the last previous year question the vehicle chassis is designated as 6 into 4 this indicates what they have asked the length of chassis 6 meter the length of chassis the length is not at all in our options because I didn't talk or I didn't discuss it about the length of the chassis. As I told you, the first column always, the first column is always the wheels. So the total number of wheels, this is correct. And the third and fourth option, only three, four are remaining. So whenever you are attempting an objective, you have to eliminate the objectives. In the four options, you have to eliminate. Then you can easily tack, tackle that uh, question. The total number of wheels is six. The total number of wheels is six. So both are same. And next coming to and the four wheels are mounted on front axle and the driving wheels are four and he's talking about total number of wheels are six in that again four wheels are mounted on front axle it is an entirely wrong statement and as i discussed the second column is driving wheels that is means type of drive it is a four wheel drive consisting of four wheels 
So the vehicle charges designated as 6 into 4, this indicates that 4th is the right answer. The total number of wheels is 6 and the driving wheels are 4. And the clutch is located between, the clutch is located between, then directly you have to go for ECG. That means engine and gearbox. That is the engine and gearbox is coming under here B. ECG, B, right answer. And the propeller shaft is located between, where the propeller shaft is located. Clutch and differential. Engine and gearbox, gearbox and differential, none of the above. That means A, as you observe, the clutch after the clutch gearbox, ECG, after the gearbox is connected to the propeller shaft, then to the differential. So the propeller shaft will be in between the gearbox and differential. Gearbox and differential. So C is the right answer for the third question. And which of the following is not a part of the chassis? Chassis is like a skeleton, it is not part of the chassis, which are there. Wheels, front axle, steering system, seats. Actually, we have discussed in the layout or the anatomy of automobile, we have seen the wheels, front axle, steering system also we have seen, but I did discuss about the seats. Seats are never comes under the part of the chassis. The part of the chassis, this A, B, C are there. So this is the right answer D. Wheel base of a vehicle is, again I have talked about wheel base as well as the wheel track. Wheel base you have seen, what is the wheel base is the distance between the front tires and the back that wheels. Distance between the centers of the front and rear wheels, distance between center of the front tires, distance between center of the rear tires, extreme length of the vehicle. The distance between the center of the front and rear wheels is called as wheel base. Which of the following is not part of again transmission system? Again, I have discussed about transmission system is the engine, clutch, gearbox, propeller shaft, differential. Here, what are there? Which of the following is not a part? Wheels is not a part. Clutch is there, gearbox, engine. The wheels are not part of a transmission system. It is a part of chassis. It is a part of chassis. So, by this, I will conclude this. So, if you observe here, just on a small topic, anatomy of automobile how many questions we have seen how many questions they can frame how many what kind of questions they can ask from this anatomy from this one single slide we have lot of inputs lot of inputs so i hope you guys has been like my lecture so by this i'll conclude this and uh, going to see you in my next coming batch if anybody interested they can call us my number has been given Nine seven double zero two one zero nine double eight. I am the course instructor. My name is Ujjwal Kiran. I have done my PhD at NIT Suratkal. So this is my number nine seven double zero two one zero nine double eight. Anybody, anytime they can call or text me message in WhatsApp. And uh, thanking you.